Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our Chenmen Run campaign. In the last episode, we continued our expansion into the south, and we were able to take out the tag of Arakelin, and also move in and take another large chunk out of here in the northern part of South Hales. Uh, this has allowed Ping Hoi to unfortunately become a little bit stronger, but that is okay because we currently have a force of 48, and they are fielding 12,000 troops, and they do have some allies, but we should be able to take them out when the time comes. Now, we do currently have claims on them, but I'm not too interested in actually going and fighting them at the moment. Uh, and that is for two reasons. Number one, our truce with Han Sai is going to be up in a year, and I want to go and grab this stuff in the north off of him so I can fight Beyond Fang, hopefully before their Tech 6. Uh, it might be difficult, though they do have some pretty strong allies. But I also want our next ruler to take over before we really start conquering a lot of land. Because we currently have a 1-2-2, which is not great for Monarch Point generation. We will get a 3-5-5 in 8 years. So, that is what we're hoping for. Uh, it's just to survive until then. And then we're going to be able to expand and actually afford to core everything up. Which is ideal, obviously. Let's go ahead and bring our diplomat back there. This is all in a trade company, and let's move our troops back to our home. We just got done with a war with Zayun, or Zion, I don't know how to say it, pronounce, or pronounce it correctly. Uh, we have turned them into a vassal because they have cores on Zongji, who currently, both their allies would join them, uh, but eventually we'll get those cores back for right now, though. I would rather just kind of chill. We do have 10,000 mercs down here in the south, and they are going to be disbanded here relatively soon. Uh, once any of these rebels are dealt with, and they use their manpower to die. Because I don't want to lose my manpower. Uh, though, yeah, because we're only like half our manpower right now. Which is not great in the grand scheme of things. All right, combine you all together. Let's get you drilling. A little bit of army drill definitely will not hurt. Uh, I do wonder if I want to run more cavalry. I've been playing around with the idea of using more cavalry just to really see if it's worth it. Because, like, they are better and in combat, but they do cost more money, in, which is rough. But I am making plenty of money here, so we could... I mean, how much better are they? Two offensive and defensive shock pips compared to... Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I should use more cavalry then. I mean, they're clearly just better, especially for us. Uh, our infantry are kind of, sort of, trash. So, we have to offset that in some way, and I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Could increase my autonomy there to get rid of the unrest, but I think we'll be alright. Uh, as for this, I think we're going to take this national supply limit. It's fine. It is cheaper, 10%, because our mages are very loyal right now. So, that works for me. And there we go. Last little bit of cores that are done. I do want to half-state this stuff, but only once I own all provinces. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Ping Hoi declares war on Naledi. That's these guys. <sighs> Ping Hoi is going to become a problem if we don't deal with them. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna... Just gonna stay focused on expanding into Hansai. Now, Han Sai, who have you allied? You have allied Ascare and two small guys. That's it? Okay. Ascare, you've allied Vrkul Ozivar. Interesting. So, man, I'm, maybe I vassalize Ascare here. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, honestly. Is uh, Hedarion still alive? Yeah, Hedarion is still alive. We could subjugate the elf. We might do that. I don't mind fighting Verkulozovar. They've got 10,000 troops, but... I mean, we're going to win this war. It's not going to be a big deal. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Man, I want to wait for this war exhaustion to be gone, though. But I don't really want to wait that long. Would be nice. I think we're just going to go for it. Any other buildings I can build? Yeah, we'll build those temples. Alright, let's do this. Let's conquer... What's the highest development province up here we have a claim on? Probably going to be Hu Fektai. Yep, that would be it. Alright, go after that. Kobolo drives Azkare. Or we could even wait to vassalize Azkare until we fight Verkal Ozivar. That might be the better plan. 
Nah, we'll take him now. It's not a big deal. Let's go. Alright, you guys are going to go on to this siege immediately. Uh, get that two siege general in charge. Four there, four there, four there, five there. You need to be given... Uh, any... Any general will do. Not too concerned. Yes, they're going to come down here and start sieging things. That's okay. Uh, really, I pr <sighs> No, this is where I want my fort eventually. So, it's fine. We'll be fine. Uh, oh, Hansai immediately goes after my, uh, my mercenaries. Okay. Uh, bud? That's quite embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That is quite embarrassing for you. You attacked me and lost. And my troops were just chilling. And they were on grasslands too. So they just took that L for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Uh, I suppose we send them up to their capital now. Though that's definitely going to make them a lot less useful in this war. Because they are really going to be out of war score. Or out of manpower now. You know what? Let's just go chase after these guys. Preferably we go down this way so they can't just run back up. I do want to be careful with these. I'm fine just looting for now. Making a little bit more money. Helps pay for our troops. Not too bad. I don't want to core any of that up. Now, navally... I do have galleys. I'm not even sure it's worth risking my light ships at this point. Okay, and this should be a pretty easy wipe. So we're going to send you a warning. And there we go. That is one of our vassals annexed. So I will go ahead and full state this state. Because uh, it does have an important center of trade for us. Alright, let's take these guys out. Switch over our better combat general. Perfect. Now, I think from the dwarves, we're just looking for a white piece at the moment. Don't really want to be in a war with them any longer than I need to be. Because that means that I am... Oh, I inherited these troops in the north. Uh, means I'm having a longer truce, and I don't want a longer truce with them. I want a shorter truce. Yeah, I really should build a second fort down here, even if it is temporary. Uh, they're not going to peace out. Okay. Well, be like that then. That's fine. Yellow Springs. While sneaking away from town to find a secluded place to cavort, a young couple in Thalum Thalumzav discovered a pristine hot spring, seemingly having appeared out of nowhere. The springs are guarded by a kindly turtle spirit who, while voiceless, has been accepting offerings of coin and food from the people of the nearby towns in exchange for rejuvenating baths in the sulfurous springs. While we cannot begin to guess why they are here, or when they will once again return to the spirit realm, the people of the region seem refreshed and content. Good. Minus three local unrest and plus 2.5 trade value for uh, 30 years, is that? 20 years. 20 years. It's like 30. I, that's crazy. I mean, 20 years is crazy too, but we'll take it. Ah, uh, these guys didn't get away. Unfortunate. Uh, let's actually send our army down to deal with them. Even though our... Yeah, I don't want this general here. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, Rising Star, I will just take the prestige. Thank you. Like my two siege general here and my combat general to be over here. That's better. Let's go say hello to the neighbors, shall we? Neighbors who are so intent on sieging down my territory, which I don't appreciate. I mean, we should obliterate Hansai here. They did get Tech 7, but this is literally all of their troops. And goodbye, Hansai. Have a nice day. Send you back to your own territory. Where are you going? I don't know where he's going. Oh, you're retreating to Pinghoi. Okay. That makes sense. Rook Lozavar, you ready to peace out yet? Nope. Okay. If you want to get full occupied, I will not stop you. Lot de Kong is going to attack Azkure. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That does mean, though, that we might not be able to vassalize them. Yeah, they're getting obliterated by all of their neighbors, so... Might be... 
not quite the time to do that. We'll see, though. I mean, if I could have warned everybody else around them first, maybe that would have worked, but I didn't, so. Uh, oops, I guess. That's the best excuse I've got for you. Uh, there's another merchant that we got. Apparently, our trade company has... F oh, it's barely. It's barely not giving it to us. Shoot. That's unfortunate. Uh, but for right now, we do technically have it, so let's go ahead and start pulling trade from Tianlu. Even if we lose it immediately. Not too big of a deal. We'll take what we can get. Alright, Rebels are dealt with. I might just vassalize Virkal Ozevar in this war. We'll see. I do want to make my way down. We just keep sieging things. Command gets to manage an empire, increasing the price of paper. Not a big deal. I don't even think we have any paper, do we? Yeah, we do. We have one paper. Two. One. Not ours yet. A little bit greedy on that. Uh, we have one paper province. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking we're just going to peace out Asker right here. Like, it would have been nice to get them as a vassal, but I don't really want to fight all of these people to get them. It's not that important to me. Let's see your vocal loads of our complete. Let's get down here. What do I need off of Han Sai? I'm going to take my claims. Oh, I can't take vocal loads of our as well. I mean, I could pillage their capital. What does the mission want me to do? Let's check. Uh, it wants me to develop things, is the answer. It just wants me to own them. Uh, they'll give us a restoration of Union CB on them. I don't want a restoration of Union CB. So we'll probably literally never do that. Because that seems like a bad idea. Won't lie. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. Because uh, that means I can't integrate them for a long time. I'm going to peace out Virkal Ozevar here. If I vassalize them... It's 43 Diplo points. I'm just going to take money war reps and I'm going to pillage their capital. We can come back for them. Not a big deal. Getting some more development, though, in our capital is pretty sweet. Especially when our capital is so highly developed. Really, the only way we can do that is with holds. So, very convenient that there's a hold. Uh, this is going to fall, which is somewhat unfortunate. Escare, you willing to peace out yet? No, not yet. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not really in a huge rush. I mean, I kind of am. The command is getting closer, so I'm kind of in a rush. I don't really want Phi-10 to fall, though, so we're going to send back a contingent of troops here. Uh, Kudet Separatists. Let's go ahead and deal with them with the Mercs. You are going to go relieve the Siege of Phi-10. I want to make sure that I can take Miltech here, so we're not going to do that. Uh, Miracle Life lose two War Exhaustion. That's kind of huge, actually. Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I suppose I could move them in to Siege it down, though. Okay, they moved up here. Uh, it is jungle... Sorry, woods, but I don't really care. We should still thrash them. Oh, that is... Yeah, that is a sound I love to hear. Oh, yes. That is very good. Okay, so in four years, we will now have our 355 in charge. I don't have to disinherit anything. Uh, that is the sound of our leader dying. I mean, oh, so sad. Our great queen has died. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. That's ugh, truly one of the moments of all time. Don't know about saddest, but it's one of the moments. Uh, we can leave a thousand guys up here. Everybody else can move south. No! That's rude. It's not even worth scorching. No way they lose again. They might lose. I don't think it's worth them. Nah, we're going to run out of troops. And a temple complex has been damaged by the siege. Well, it sounds like a problem for people who consider the high temples to be uh, places of their religion. Which ours does not. So, uh, oh well, I guess. 
It's a lot of money to fix those things. Yeah, these these mercs are are done. They're very very done. No manpower, no nothing. Okay, let's use that. You move south. Ascaray. To be fair, I suppose I could still vassalize you and have the reconquest now. Ooh, South Alaska goes all the way up there, huh? Ugh. No, we'll come back for you another time. Just white piece them out. Wait till we have claims. Again, if we already had a really good ruler in charge, I would consider it, but we don't. So, we gotta be a little bit careful of how we spend our monarch points. I could just send these guys to fight here, just to use the rest of their troop power up, so I think I'll do that. Are they gonna win? And we do have like a full morale on Han's side themselves, so... That is a pretty big combat advantage. Uh, that, on the other hand, is very annoying. People laugh at our army. Who? Who laughs at our army? At the moment, they're kind of kicking everybody in the teeth. I don't know who's laughing. Uh, but okay. Take some money. Take some war reps. Break your... Actually, I don't care about any of this. Yeah, I don't care about a single one of these things. Can I pillage your capital? Nope, not worth anything. Uh, that's fine then. Peace out. Ta-da! Right, one more expansion done. We move ever forward. Uh, okay, so we need to go to war with you. Our truce with you isn't up though until 1488, so we have about a year. That's rather convenient. Works for me. So let's get our guys into position to deal with them and let's fire these mercenaries. We have maxed out our relations with that vassal. Our regent is a loyalist. I mean, I suppose that's nice. Not all too worried about it. We could upgrade our capital to a level three center of trade. Unfortunately, it is a coastal center, center of trade, which means it will give us plus 100% local sailors instead of plus 100% local manpower. But I'm gonna do that just because having more control over this node would be nice, as it always is. Uh, we could take tech. I guess I didn't think about that problem. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. Huh. Yeah, I really didn't think about that one, did I? Well, I don't really want to get coalition if I'm going to be honest with you. I could ally like Rebecca Kerr, but I have 5,000 troops. Jad wouldn't be a terrible ally. Maybe. Who knows? They have a very bad habit of doing well and then falling off really hard. Uh, but we're gonna get coalition if I don't declare on someone. So if I declare war on Zhu Jiat, I calls in Ping Hoi and Jung Lucy. Uh, war which I can easily win. I don't actually need to take anything from Ping Hoi, I just need to beat him up. That's kind of the main goal here. And I can get cores back for Phi 10. So let's do that. This should stop the coalition. Uh, do a reconquest for Phi 10 proper. Let's get it done. And we do have a bit of a vassal swarm here. Not a large one. Oh, I should have started annexing this vassal. I need to annex this vassal, and I forgot to do that. Oh, well. You have 8,000 troops. You aren't going to do anything. Let's just focus our efforts on Ping Hoi here. And get them out as soon as possible. Yep, there they go. Raiding us. But I definitely cannot beat their navy. So I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going to try and stop them. Uh, as for you, send these two guys back, and let's get this occupied in a timely fashion. Yeah, he's just raiding everything of mine now. Unfortunate. Looks like he caught out some ships. Yes, ships from our vassal that uh, were not fixed. Quebec Teleni declares war on Hansai. Okay. And rebels in the south. 
Yeah, I mean, Hansai dying is definitely going to shake up the uh, local politics. We'll see how it ends up going. I'm not concerned about anybody individually, but alliance blocks may make things more complicated. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. And from Ping Hoi, I'm not sure exactly what I want. I suppose I could just take, like, money. That could work. Hey! Rude. Just take those guys out, they're just chilling. They weren't doing anything. Whatever. I am a little worried that they will try and contest the siege of their capital. I don't really want that to happen, so let's send our troops back up. Our vassals have been able to get some stuff up here occupied. And they're working on... Oh no, sorry, they already grabbed Fight 10. So we're good there. Transfer trade power here again. Tian Lu has the most control over this node. I mean, if we can get control over Tian Lu as well, we can start making some serious cash. Yeah, from Ping Hoi, I want war reps and money. No, max money. Not partial money, max money. That's unfortunate. I do have 13 transports. I need to go deal with these rebels, though. Okay, there we go. The siege is done. That means the Ping Hoi should peace out. Yes, thank you. I don't care about that alliance. I don't care about any of this. Just give me my money. Thank you. You two are going to meet up here. You're going to meet here. And then we're going to go and get our cores back for our vassal. So sort by here. Please give Phi-10 all of their cores back. Appreciate it. I could even take land here and feed it over to our other vassal if I wanted to. I'm not sure I do, though. Yeah, I probably do. Okay, you're gonna go down there. You're gonna go up north. We're gonna take care of these guys. Lenjin Hui has announced me his arrival. This is rather bad. The fact that uh, Lenjin Hui and Beyond Fang are allied. Yeah, see, they're all... Yanchen's creating a bit of an alliance block to protect themselves. I don't think necessarily against me. I think against the command is what they're really afraid of. Uh... And of course, the command's rival to me, so we can't be friends to break the uh, alliance block. So we'll have to uh, build some defensive fortifications in order to deal with these problems. So I do think we're actually going to take this. And I think I'll take it for myself. Because... Can I full annex here? We could just... Okay, no. No, no, no. I don't even know if we can do this. Yeah, I'm sure be fine. People are very mad. We'll grab that minus 10% aggressive expansion impact. Should hopefully help. Uh, you can send 2,000 troops up north. Thank you. You've dealt with the rebels. So you can move up north as well. Okay, there were troops up there. That's super, super, super unfortunate. I don't know how they got wiped. That's even more unfortunate. But I'd like my revenge, please. These guys will make their way up and deal with this. Well, this war has not gone the way I was hoping, but to be fair, I also didn't really want to declare this war. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to prevent the coalitions from springing on you. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Jen Lucy? How you doing? Say goodbye to those troops. Jerks. Uh, now, Jen Lucy is an OPM. So we may be able to get them out of this war a little bit earlier. I'm going to run level 2 advisors for Admin and Diplo. We can technically afford it. On Psy Separatists. Alright. And let's get to sieging this stuff down. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, we're taking a beating here. That's okay. Uh, can you go up to Jin Lucy? We don't have access. Well, that does complicate things. I'll give you that. We have our merchant back. I need to own a couple more provinces in this node, and then we should be able to just keep the merchant permanently. 
Uh, we'll also be annexing Phi-10 too, so we'll add all of that land. Even though we're going to get full states from Phi-10, we're going to add it to Trade Company so we can make more money. Because that's the purpose of Yanchen for us, is to make money. I'm not so sure about this fight. Yeah, okay. Good, good plan. Good plan saying no to that fight. Uh, and our Regency is about to end, and then we will get Monarch Points back. It's going to be so good. We're actually going to have Monarch Point income. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Because we are behind on tech. Look at this. Minus 15% neighbor bonus from our admin tech. That's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Um, You want me to build a Mage Tower in my capital? I don't hate the idea of doing that in general. It would give the mages more influence. I think we're going to do that. Not that I ever think we're going to develop our capital again, but it's 50 of each monarch points. And I have money, so we might as well. Let's get you here. Let's move you up. And we get the spiritual lapidary once again. So we can choose Jinmari the first for the infantry combat ability, Nagak the swift for movement speed, architect for dev cost, or the reformer for monthly reform progress growth. I think we're going to go... Honestly, the reform progress growth is so strong. But considering the wars that we're going to have to fight, specifically the Bian Feng and Lan Jin Hui war, I think I'm going to go with the infantry combat ability. I think that's going to be the best play for us. Even if I do want the government reform progress. Gotta choose the smart option for the long-term health of our nation. Kind of important. I do really want to just take all this stuff out. Because the sooner that I can get rid of dealing with the stresses of owning this stuff, the better. Like, once I own all this, then I can just build force to prevent devastation, and then we're chilling. Like, we have no problems. Right now, I have to worry about them allying random people, or them somehow declaring war on me, though I don't think they would do that, but it is always a, a possibility. Uh, that's 78% war score. Perfect. Go ahead and give me your money and give me your war reps as well. No? Okay. Uh, I'll just see each other province then. Or at least my vassals will. No is not exactly the answer that I'm looking for here. That's the answer that I'm looking for. The answer is yes. Of course you can annex my stuff. Mm-hmm. Good answer. All right. Uh, I don't think I want to add this to a trade company, but I do definitely want to keep this fort here. It's a good fort. We want this jungle fort, and then we want a mountain fort right here, and eventually a mountain fort right here. Yeah. Uh, let's grab another quantity idea. Minus 33% reinforced cost. Not bad. As long as we still have enough left over for the mill tech, I will be a happy camper. And let's go ahead and move south. And get ready for that. Now, Diplotech, I can afford to fall two Diplotechs behind if that means that I can complete the Diplo development of all of these provinces. Uh, ooh, my mages have lost a lot of influence. They must have had an event that gave them the influence. Okay. Well. I mean, once this mage tower is complete... Okay. Fine. Fine. I mean, hey, if you just want me to keep chaining wars, I will do so. I am not a coward. I will just keep doing it. Declare war for Guru Duya. Man, I didn't even want to go into another war yet, but here we are. And I forgot to annex the vassal again. Ugh. Uh, the treasure fleet has visited our tea gardens. Thank you for the money. And then they will visit our capital. Right, make your way south. And I could gain merchant loyalty. I see them to stay above 60, so I don't really care. Start coring that. Now Phi 10 is also good to be annexed as well. Uh, though to be fair, Phi 10 does pull trade. I don't know if it's worth it to have them exist still. 
it's probably not. It's, it's complicated to know whether it's worth it to have your vassals hang around so that way they can pull trade for you. But we're going to get a merchant from the node if I take it. So it's probably not. We could just take it for ourselves. That would be good. Oh, we still have a while for this mage tower. Ooh, okay. Like a long, long while. Right, and let's get all of this occupied. Very good. Now we are at war with Lo Nagoan, uh, who currently does have access, and there they are. So we can send some troops to deal with them. Supposed to have my two siege general on the siege and my four shock general on the combat. Uh, did that a little bit backwards. Ta-da! We did it right, kind of. Not really, but kind of works. Uh, Paper Dolls. For weeks, a man and his family have been ruthlessly tormented by vicious and reoccurring nightmares. Upon closing their eyes, they are greeted with visions of a devilish paper doll performing some malignant ritual or foul deed. The more we question the residents, the hazier the details get. This being said, there is clearly something awry and a spirit is likely to blame. Uh, we get ghost sightings in Sabian Suga. Plus three local unrest. Yeah. I'd, I'd be unrestful too if a ghost kept haunting me and wouldn't let me sleep. I think that's a fair response. Very fair response. Okay. I don't actually know what we're going to take in this war. Because if I full annex here... Eh. All the people hate me anyways. We're just going to full annex take everything. Forget it. What are they going to do? Join a coalition? Okay. What's new? They want to do that anyways. Uh, though, to be fair, Beyond Fang would not currently join. But after the year tick, it won't matter. Uh, I could take tech here, but I do want to reduce this before I do that. So I don't have the 10% tech cost increase. It's technically only like 5% because the all power cost, but well, it's still more expensive. And I forgot about the rebels. Yeah, I gotta go deal with those. You're going to port here. I know that we're over time, but I definitely want to deal with the rebels right now before I forget. Because we all know I will forget. It's not a if he will forget, it's a he will forget. So let's just avoid such problems. Uh, okay, what do I do with those? Now, unfortunately, I cannot separate piece out Lone Nagoan. Because they are technically in here because of a coalition. So, we're gonna have to get them to leave the old-fashioned way, which is sieging them down. And forcing them out of the war. And I am losing Inno, uh, though I don't have much Inno to deal with. Recently, a local official has fallen in love with a local harpy. Fortunately, since we have managed to find a permanent modus vivendi with them, this is merely a subject of interest for the people of Chen Ben Rung, and a significant part of our people wants the two to go all the way together. However, there is a legitimate concern that, if this is not stopped, this could lead to harpies getting an undesirably higher degree of influence in our country. I have to admit, I don't care. <laughs> Does not sound like a problem for me, like I have any interest in dealing with that? Where are the harpies at, anyways? I don't even know where we have harpies. Oh, up here, probably. Yeah. That's fine. I'm happy for them. Good for them. Go go crazy. Doesn't matter. I've got, like, a, you know, country to run, so... I, again, I don't care. It's not my problem. Uh, let's move these guys north. Move these guys up over here. Seventy-five percent war score. They're almost ready to peace out. I cannot contest this, unfortunately. Unless I bring these seven thousand over, then I probably could. We're about to max out on Diplo and Admin points. That's a that's a first for this run. But I need to seize land. I need to peace out. Please. Please. Let me leave. Free me. All right, you go in there. Yep, I'm maxed out on points. It's fine. Because we're about to finish this war right here at this fight. Right? Right? Yeah? That's enough? Frick. 
No. <laughs> the answer is no. They didn't hear me say yes. Um, okay. Well, I mean, we need to do some development at some point. So there we go. That'll stop us from maxing out again. Do have lots of rebels that we need to deal with. Bandit marauders. Uh, those aren't rebels you see every day. Those are uh, from Adventurers Wanted, right? Yeah. They're deadly pillagers. Oh, wow. They have generous quest rewards. I might need to get their influence up. Because that's pretty bad. I believe that's a level 3, isn't it? I don't know. But less trade power, devastation. I mean, they spawn rebels. I, I don't like rebels. Rebels are annoying. Really? Still no? Minus 2? Okay. We'll just keep waiting then. It's fine. I don't have anything else to do. You know, I don't have an episode to end or anything. We're just chilling, hanging out, having a good time, maxing out on monarch points. Can buy down inflation a bit. Uh, there we go. Now they'll accept full annexation. Though Beyond Fang does still join the coalition, which is death, just so we're clear. So, what if I didn't do that? What if I simply left this alone? Yep, that's a little bit more reasonable. I can't afford for them to join the coalition. Them being Beyond Fang and Lan Jin Hui. Because that's not good. Not good at all. Uh, I'll take your war wraps though and your money and a little bit of land. Thank you very much. I will full core everything in here. I will then... Oh, we have to get rid of these rebels. Just get rid of them right now before we, any other rebels show up, please. I would like to take an admin tech. One admin tech for poor Poe Mew. Please, I beg of you. Thank you. We seize land. Right? Oh, I think I have to wait another month tick. Yeah, I think we have to wait a month tick for it to update. It just keeps going. There's just more and more reasons. Uh, start annexing you. And there we go. We're good. We take Aventech. We take Diplotech. We take Niltech. Then... We hold off on taking the idea until we get our all-power cost back from the mages, and it will be super cheap. Okay, so no missions today, but... We did get rid of our really bad ruler, and now we're, we're back on track to being able to... Expand and actually take things, which is pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, we will see what we get up to next time. We do have to fight Beyond Fang. So, odds are, that is up for the next one, and that is going to be quite the tough war. We'll need max manpower for that, and probably a little bit of luck. But that's going to be it for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.